Hey, hello guys, it's How to Text Simplified, and in this easy tutorial, I will be showing you if you get this error. So, simply, the USB device is not recognized. Now, I will show you some easy steps on how to resolve this. This is likely a software issue, so simply follow my steps and let's get right to it. Now, the first step we're going to take is in the device manager. So, we're simply heading down to search and we type in File Explorer right here. Now, once the file explorer opens up, it will take you to this PC right here. You simply right click it and from there go to properties. Now, once you're in the properties of your PC, you simply scroll down till you find the device manager right here. Now you open it up and once the device manager opens up, you scroll all the way down till you see the universal serial bus controllers right here. You open it up and here are a load of options to choose from. Now we're going to the USB root hub and we're right clicking it and we're updating the drivers. Now here you have to go to browse my computer for drivers. Simply press let me pick a from a list of available drivers and here is the latest driver. Now from there you press next and it will start installing the drivers. Now this process should also be done with the other USB root hub USB 3.0 and the USB composite device. So these three should also right click update drivers, browse my computer for drivers, let me pick from a list and from there use the oldest driver available. Now press next and it will start installing the driver. Now this is the first step we need to take in, so let's head to the next one. Now for the next step we're going to the power settings in our system, so simply go to search and type in edit power plan right here. It will take you to the control panel and once you're inside the control panel here are some options to choose from. Now we're going to change the advanced power settings right here. This will open up the power options and from here we scroll down till we find the USB settings as you can see. Now these are the USB selective suspend setting and this will open up and here are two options to choose from, the unbattery and the plugged in. Now we change them both from enabled to disabled. This is very important. From here simply apply the selected settings and from there press OK. Now we can close all the windows and head one last time to the search bar and type in Windows update settings right here. Now this will take you to the system settings and as you can see there's a restart required because we did a load of settings that we've changed and make sure to update your windows because if your windows isn't up to date there could be some firmware bugs that can um, allow your PC to not recognize your USBs. So simply install the latest Windows software, restart your PC and it will be fixed. Now if this tutorial has helped you in any kind of way please leave a like but most importantly thank you for watching it helps me out a ton.